I talk about the 1% quite a bit on this channel. We're going to talk about it again today. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. What you're watching is you're watching me walk. 23 months ago, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for a couple minutes without severe pain. Now I'm out here walking every day. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. Thanks for stopping back by. It means a lot to me that you choose to spend just a few moments of your day with me. So why don't y'all help me out? Hit that thumbs up, drop down in the comments and say hi Bob. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell notification. All of these things are absolutely free and they help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. So the 1%, what is it that I'm talking about? We don't have to do it all at once. You know, if we try to do 100 push-ups and we've done zero push-ups before, we're probably not going to get to 100 push-ups. Even if we do one push-up 100 times throughout the day, still probably not going to make it. 1% that I talk about, just getting 1% better every day, is just doing a little bit more today than you did yesterday. The classic example of that is while I was giving that intro, and to this point, as you can see now, I am back in front of the house. This was the total of the walk that I took on that first walk back in September of 2022. And it took me about three and a half, four minutes to get down there and back. Now we're going to go up to the other corner and see what happens from there. But if you had told me when I started walking that I was going to get up to where I could easily walk three, four, five, six miles without even really thinking about it, and if I take my trekking poles, I can cover 8 to 15 pretty easy. I just said you were nuts. But now, this walking is nothing. I just keep going and going. Same thing applies to everything. You know, if you're an over-the-road truck driver like I was, and you look at, you know, you got to run from South Florida all the way out to L.A., which I've done quite a few times. If you think about it as a four and a half to six day journey, depending on how fast your truck is and what the traffic's like. If you look at it as, you know, well, it's a, a five day trip. It looks overwhelming, but you think, well, my first goal for today is to get out of the Miami traffic. And then you head up 75. Okay, now my goal is to get up to I-10. Okay, that went all right. Go to sleep, get up the next day. Head west. And depending on your truck, you know, you might make it all the way to the edge of Texas. Maybe even a little further. But just taking little pieces of it. More in relation to what people in our age group are trying to do as we're regaining our health. And getting more physically fit. Right now maybe it's a struggle for you. If you're sitting on the couch watching TV, maybe it's a struggle just to go out to the kitchen and get another glass of water. And I understand that. 
So what you do is you, when you get up off the couch to go get your glass of water, go ahead and sit back down. Then stand up, go into the kitchen, get your glass of water. Every time you go to stand up, stand up, sit down, then stand up again. Just do an extra stand up. Just one. And pretty soon, that won't feel so bad. Then go ahead and do two extra stand-ups. Then when you're ready, go ahead and, when, after you stand up, take a couple laps around your living room before you go into the kitchen to get your glass of water. Little tiny improvements can add up to huge gains. Look at me, and I just talked about this yesterday or the day before, you know, with my push-ups. I started with wall push-ups because that's about all I could do. Slowly building on that, just one a day. You know, I didn't even add one a day. I did like 20 wall push-ups for a week or two. Then I moved on to the kitchen counter and I did that for another couple, three weeks. And then I went on to a chair. And then when I got home, I started on my stairway, putting my hands up on the fourth step. And then slowly over time, I moved my way down the steps. It doesn't happen overnight, folks. Wow, what a beautiful day this is. Today is actually Tuesday. You guys will see this on Wednesday. But it's 65 degrees and sunny. This is the nice day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are supposed to cool off and be kind of yucky. But then Saturday and Sunday, they're calling for 80 degrees plus. So we're going to, hopefully if it doesn't get too wet, over the next couple of days, hopefully the rain will miss us and I can get out on those 80 degree days and start doing some yard work. Because as you can see, if I tip the camera this way a little bit, I don't really like this angle, but you can see how green the grass is getting here in Omaha. And it's just starting to grow. There's, it's not in desperate need of mowing yet. But you can see some spots that are starting to get thick. And in another few days, I may try and mow this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Listen to me talking about mowing. After I first got out of the hospital for my heart surgery, I decided I was going to try and mow my grass for exercise. And I got that electric mower it's really light it's not a, a plug-in it's a, a battery pack kind of mower and the battery pack which is about two and a half three pounds weighs about as much as the mower does by itself so it's a very light setup that just didn't go very well it would take me four or five sections to get it mowed and after I did that for a couple of weeks it was just too much so I hired a lawn service probably the biggest mistake of my life because the lawn service didn't do a good job of keeping the weeds trimmed back and you've seen that big pile of brush in the backyard that I've been clearing out and if you haven't seen that yet, you can go back or just stay tuned. Because besides mowing, that's one of the things I'm going to start on this weekend. Is getting that brush cleaned out of the corner of my fence. Then I'm going to get out the sawzall and chop all the stumps down to below mower level. So I can actually start mowing in that corner and not have to worry about all those weeds coming back. But it doesn't take big steps. 
what in the world is this trash truck doing here? He was already down the street. Our stuff's been put away. Maybe they missed somebody and got called. I don't know, because all the trash bins up and down both, all the directions I'm looking have the lids open because they're empty. But it doesn't take big progress to equal huge results. Just do a little bit more each day. Whether it be what you're eating or the exercise you're doing or it doesn't this doesn't even just apply to carnivore stuff you know if you're trying to get more knowledgeable of the bible just read a little more whatever subject you're studying read a little more if you're trying to learn how to crochet work on it just a little more tomorrow do just a little bit extra every day and you too will not be able to recognize yourself in six months. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Hopefully some of what I said today made sense. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.